All right, boys, we are back, and it's time to continue year five with our Tampa Bay Lightning, the best team in the NHL, going for that President's Trophy. And you know what? With the start 21-3, and three, I don't know. It's, uh, it's not automatic that we're going to win it, but if we keep this up, hell yeah, we're going to win it. So trying to win back-to-back -back Stanley Cups, but if we get a President's Trophy in there, that'd be nice as well. Um, now, I was reading your comments, and a few, guys, a few of you guys wanted to see the Chicago Blackhawks team because... We stole Patrick Kane. Apparently, Toronto Maple Leafs, they had Patrick Sharp on the team. So, uh, yeah, let's see uh, what the Chicago Blackhawks... Because remember, they had they won the President's Trophy last year. They had a stacked team last year. I want to see who Toronto traded to them. So they got Morin, Taves, Hosa, who's only 86 now. He's probably getting worse. Should have gotten rid of Hosa, kept Kane. Uh, Hudler, Bolin, Samuelson, Stahlberg, Froelich, Bickle, uh, Sade, Lombardi. So what, they traded Lombardi for Patrick Sharp? <laughs> Uh, Beach, maybe some draft picks. Oh, maybe it was the defense, but hang on. Seabrook, Keith, Oduya, uh, Halmerson, Gervais, uh, Petrecki, uh, goaltender. Now they still got Corey Crawford in the net. So maybe they traded, you know, Lombardi, a draft pick, and a prospect or something like that. But yeah, they, uh, from an amazing team last year, they still have some good studs. They got an okay defensive core, but without Kane and without Sharp, they really lost some good wingers there. They should have gotten rid of Hosa first. They should have gotten rid of Hosa and Sharp. Then they would have been able to uh, afford Kane. But you know what? Whatever. So there you go. There you go. There's the Chicago Blackhawks. All right. So let's keep simulating here. Let's go a month at a time. Yeah, because I don't really need to change the lines. We did so good. And did you guys watch the uh, LA versus New Jersey Devils last night? My goodness. My goodness. I mean, LA won. But it was an overtime. And you know what, man? New Jersey could have won that game very easy. Freaking David Clarkson, man. He missed like two wide open nets. Uh, Parise, before he gloved that one into the net, you know, he just, he fanned on it. I don't know if he fanned on it or he just missed it. Um, and nothing, I'm not taking anything away from Jonathan Quick. It was a good stick save. Remember when he sprawled out and made that stick save? But Parise, uh, like, he didn't get what he wanted to get on that. Uh, Mark Fain missed an open net. So, I mean, the chances were there for New Jersey. I don't know, man. I, I'm not going to say the LA Kings were lucky to win that first game, right? Because they did deserve it. They played good as well. But uh, they, New Jersey gave them a run for their money, man. They only scored one goal on them. And um, it's interesting. You know, you see Martin Brodeur handling the puck. He looks like a stud back there. Uh, but then Jonathan Quick, I don't know if he's trying to do it to try and be like Martin Brodeur or just uh, just trying to do what he can, trying to learn from Martin Brodeur. But, man, he he is not as good with the puck as Marty is. Definitely not. It's going to be a good series, though. I hope, uh, I hope New Jersey can win one. Before they go back to L.A. If they fall down 2-0 going back to L.A., I don't know. That may be tough to come back from. Um, but I want to see it go to 6 or 7. And you know what? Again, New Jersey, they could have won that game. Just missed opportunities. Missed opportunities. All right? And we also had news that Nicholas Lidstrom retired, man. I, I, uh, Nicholas, 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 Nicholas. I wish he didn't retire because, in my opinion, he's still good enough to play. I mean... Yeah, but you know what? It's his decision. You know, he's probably not done with hockey. He's probably going to go back to Sweden. Uh, I don't know if he has a wife and kids. He probably does have a family. Um, but he's probably going to play in the Swedish Elite League and be like the best defenseman in the league now, you know. Uh, I don't know what the checking is like in the Swedish Elite League, but it's probably not as rough as it is in the NHL. So, again, I'm not Nicholas Lidstrom. Maybe he's feeling it. Maybe his body is starting to tell him, you know, it's time to go. But uh, Nicholas Lidstrom, man, great player. One of the best defensemen of all time. Definitely the best defenseman of a certain uh, decade. You know, the late 90s, early 2000s. It was definitely Nicholas Lidstrom. So here we go with 30-6. and six. Uh, So we actually had some losses in that little run there. Uh, what were we? We were like, what, 21-3? and three? So we went 7-3 and three there. Or 9-3, and three, sorry. 9-3. and three. So that's still pretty good. You know, we just came back down earth a little bit. Uh, let's check out the team stats here. Uh, team stats, where are they? Yep, team stats. Let's see if that power play number is starting to get up a bit. Because that was the only uh, stat that was fairly low for us. So, yeah, we're still above 3.5. You see the Islanders, the first month they were above 4. They're coming back down to earth now. So we're the highest scoring team in the NHL, 3.5. As long as we're above 3.5, well, as long as you're above 3, you're a good scoring team. But you know what, with our new setup, I want to be above, I won't say 3.5 because that's going to be hard to stay above, but... We have got to stay above 3.25, absolutely, okay? Uh, goals against per game, I want that to be a bit lower. I want it to be below 2.25, but we're top five in the NHL, so that's good. 
Uh, power play percentage. Yep. The power play percentage is coming up. Remember it was like 18. Oh no, sorry. It was like 8.8. And then the next month it was like 17 and now we're at 21. So it's just that first month that is still weighing us down. Ever since that first month, I'd say we're clicking at like 30%, 25, 30%. So it's getting up there. It's getting up there. So again, don't have to change the power play and the penalty kill. Ooh, the penalty kill is not looking that good. All right. So in that little, uh, little stretch that we had, uh, where we only went nine and three, I know a only three to one ratio, uh, but our penalty kill could be a bit better, but I'm going to leave it the same way it is right now. Um, 18 and three on home, 12 and three away last 10 games were eight, two and oh. So, I mean, it's still doing good. <laughs> it's just, it's interesting. You know, you go on a 21 and three run and then anything less than that, you feel like you're not doing as good, but I mean, we're still doing great. Stam coast, 19 goals, 28 assists. Unbelievable. So we'll simulate up to, we're going to try something new this time because you guys wanted to see the all-star teams. Um, so we'll check out the all-star teams and maybe just for the all-star game, maybe I'll start doing it. We'll do a, uh, a slow simulation. You know how I do for playoff games? Maybe we'll do that for the all-star games now because you guys always say, check out who's on the all-star team, check that out. So you know what? Yeah, I'll do that for you guys. We're going to go on, oh my God, we just went on our first three game losing streak. Oh no. So yeah, we uh, started off on a 7-1 ratio. We're back to a 3-1 ratio, okay? so But that's fine. If you keep a 3-1 ratio, you're going to win uh, 60 games. So I'm fine with that. Continue. Come on, though. Get back in the winning column here. There you go. All right. I wonder... Maybe it's Bernier? I don't know. I wonder what's uh, causing us to lose a few games here. Maybe our penalty kill. Maybe it's just the beginning. We were just uh, getting very lucky with the simulation engine. WHL, yeah, we'll send them back out. Um, yeah, because you know what? Considering that we have to trade Patrick Kane away this year, we probably will get uh, one of the first picks uh, because we have to. It's a, it's it's written in stone. We pretty much have to trade Patrick Kane at the draft deadline. Uh, it's either Patrick Kane or Stamkos, and Stamkos is staying on the team. Uh, no, we'll go forwards again. Yeah, we'll go forwards. There you go, six weeks. Oh, and there's one thing I forgot to do. Because Vinny LeCavalier is off the team now, it's time to uh, make the captains for our team. Yeah, so they already put Stamkos as the captain. Uh, Victor Hedman as the alternate. Who can be the other alternate? Who, you know what, for right now, it's got to be Big Joe. I know he might not be on our team next year. He probably, actually, in fact, he won't be on our team next year. But uh, he helped us win the Stanley Cup. Good uh, veteran. We'll put Joe Thornton as the assistant captain for right now. Victor Hedman, the other assistant, and Steven Stamkos, our new captain, baby. That's the right. Best player in the league right now. 96 overall. Got to give it to him. You've got to give it to him. All right. So let's go. Yeah, let's go up to the All-Star game. We'll check out the team stats. Then we'll go into the All-Star game. We'll see what it's all about. We'll check out the AHL stats. All that good stuff. But this is going to be a fairly quick season. I mean, even, yeah, we're starting to lose some games here. But even even so, we're still going to be pushing for that President's Trophy. I mean, 21-3, and three, that was outstanding. Holy crap, what's going on now, boys? Come on now, what's going on? Not scoring goals? Got to switch up the lines a little bit, maybe? We'll check it out afterwards. It may just be, ah, I, I still can't complain. I mean, 35-13, and 13, pretty much. 36-13, uh, and 13, yeah, that's a 3-to-1 ratio. Oh, no, that's not 3-to-1, never mind. Yeah, we got to win some games here. We got to go on a little streak here. That's fine, though. I mean, I'd like to win 60 games, but I'd rather win the President's Trophy. So here we go again. We're at the All-Star break. Let's check out the stats. Um, all right. So, yeah, Bernier's not up there. Save percentage, Bernier's not up there. So I think that's the only thing that can help our team a little bit better. Uh, if Bernier, well, excuse me, if Bernier was like a 92-93 overall. Uh, wins, Bernier's up there. Points, Stamkos is fourth. Uh, Kane is sixth. So that first line is scoring for us. Uh, assists, Stamkos is fourth. Goals, Stamkos is eighth. All right, so Stamkos is doing great for us. Uh, the Eastern Conference, we're only three points above Buffalo, so it's not like the President's Trophy is automatic right now. And actually, the San Jose Sharks are actually beating us, so yeah, we're not a President's Trophy team right now. So we definitely have to, I'm not saying we got to change up the lines, but uh, we, got, we definitely got to start winning some more games here. So let's check out the team stats and the player stats. Why not? All right, so team stats. Let's see where we are. Goals four per game, so we've dropped off. Our goal scoring is kind of shriveled up here a little bit. I want to be above uh, 3.25. Remember, I, being above 3.5 is really hard to do. Uh, but we had the team that we can do it, but we are above what I wanted, 3.25. Uh, but again, we're not 
top in the NHL. We should be top in the NHL. We have enough goal scoring threats. We should be top in the NHL. So we'll have to look at that. Goals against per game. I mean, I, I wish it was below 2.25, but we're top three in the NHL. So again, it's a good stat, but I want to be, you know, top in the NHL. So we'll look into that. Uh, power play percentage, it's actually gone down a bit. All right, so maybe we can look at our power play a little bit, maybe. Yeah, maybe we'll look at the power play a little bit. And penalty kill, 81%. Yeah, that could be a better as well. All right, so special teams, you know what? We'll look at our special teams right now. We'll change up the lines just a little bit. Uh, player stats. But before we do that, let's check uh, and see who's doing good for us. I'm pretty sure our first line is doing fine. It may be our depth, though. Maybe that third line was Schwartz, Granlund, and Simmons. Maybe got to switch that around a little bit. All right, so forwards. Let's see who's doing good for us. Stamkos, yeah, he's doing real good for us. Kane, he's doing real good for us. Uh, Thornton, not bad. Uh, Lofthouse, Lofthouse is doing good because he's on the first line and we spread out that offense. If, St if Kane and Stamkos are still getting more than a, a point a game, I'm fine with Lofthouse. So the first line is fine. I have no problem with that first line, all right? Uh, Big Joe, um, he could be getting a bit more. I mean, he was a point of game guy. Well, no, he wasn't a point of game guy last year. He was closer, though. We could maybe get another goal scorer on that second line. I don't know. Connolly, though, he needs to be doing a lot better. So that second line really isn't doing what I want it to do. Uh, Connolly, Brown, and Thornton, they're, they're getting some points. But, again, I think maybe switching Kane down there may help it out. Yeah, I may have to look into that. Granlund, he, he should be getting a lot more points. Simmons as well, Schwartz, yeah, so the third line is lacking that uh, center, like Le, Ca like Le Cavalier that we had last year, so I think we need to divvy up the uh, goal scoring a bit. Yeah, we have a great point scorer in Stamkos because we have that stacked first line, but I think we need to go back to getting some more depth scoring. Our fourth line is doing good for us, but yeah, look, Schwartz is a minus four. Uh, Grant, yeah, that third line, we got to add something, to, we got to add something to that, uh, to that third line. Um, yeah, okay, so I'll look at that in a second. Defenseman. Let's see here. Points. Hedman's doing great. Yeah, Ekman Larson's doing great. Bull is doing fine. Shattenkirk's doing fine. So every one of our defensemen are doing fine, and they're all plus players. All right, so that's fine for me. I'm fine with that. Uh, yep, yep, yep. And let's see what uh, Bernie Mac's doing. 2.35, that's kind of high. I want that to be below 2.25. So Bernie Max letting in some goals. Yeah, and the save percentage is just .911. So Bernie Max letting in some goals, even though he's 90 overall now, boys. He is a 90 overall. So, but then again, yet yeah, I can't remember that. It's not about the overall stats. Um, I got to get that uh, reflexes category higher. Absolutely. All right, so we'll remember that. So let's go edit the lines a little bit here.